Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now, SV Boney has very kindly sent me another product to have a look at. Now, if you're regular to my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of SV Boney products. And uh, this little eyepiece here is no exception. What we'll do, we'll have a closer look first, and then I'll uh, tell you why I think that uh, Everybody should own an eyepiece like this. Now, this is a 40 millimeter Plossel eyepiece. And um, as soon as you get out of the box, you, think, you can tell that this thing, it feels good. There's a little bit of weight to it. Now that's all due to, it's also in a complete steel casing. All the housings, all metal. Always a good sign in an eyepiece. Now, all the optics are fully multi-coated uh, with a, as you, I don't know if the camera's picking up, we've got this lovely green hue to them. Um, and as standard it's a uh, inch and a quarter barrel and also as standard these days it's also got your th internal thread which you can uh, apply uh, filters and such like to the end of the barrel another little feature I do like that they start adding to uh, especially these eyepieces that start to get a little bit heavier is this little rubber grip all around the uh, center of the eyepiece now that's not just for cosmetic that really does assist especially in colder weather and when it starts to get a little bit dewy believe me I I've been there uh, before, picked an eyepiece up and it's just simply slipped out of my hand and it's the deck. Uh, so having this uh, little little rubber grip there is, is a nice little feature. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a Plossel design eyepiece and that's just the uh, the way the lenses are configured in the eyepiece. It's just the name of the given to this type of lens configuration. And uh, it, the Plossels are one eyepiece that I always recommend as a good first upgrade to your eyepiece collection. Um, the thing is with Plossels, it's, it's pretty difficult to produce a bad Plossel, to make a bad Plossel. They're usually always really good quality. The only downside to Plossels is you do lose a little bit of field of view. Now, um, with this, in this case, this is around about a 40 degrees or something like that field of, of view. But don't let that put you off because this is an incredibly low powered eyepiece. And I'll get to why that doesn't really matter so much in a short while. Now with this only having a uh, 40 uh, degree field of view, um, like I say, don't let that put you off because it is a very low powered eyepiece at 40 millimeters. And because you're not having such a zoomed in uh, view of the night sky, you, uh, you kind of don't notice that narrower field of view. Now, when we say low power, this really is on the uh, on the lowest, on the low end of power, if you like, with eyepiece. You can't get much eyepieces with much of a, of a longer focal length without going into the sort of specialist category. So why would you need an eyepiece with such low power? You know, um, you're probably thinking that astronomy is all about power, 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 more power, the better. Well, it's a big misconception in astronomy and usually some of your best views in astronomy are towards the lower end spectrum of magnification, if you like. Now, 40 mils are what I call uh, galaxy busters. These are the eyepieces that are absolutely fantastic for deep sky targets. Um, again, a common mistake that a lot of beginners use is think they've got a pile on the magnification to see some of these uh, brighter galaxies. And it's simply not the case. With something like this 40 mil, it's going to give you some lovely views of uh, open clusters, such as the Pleiades, or you've got the double clusters, such as in Perseus. The Perseus double cluster looks fantastic in an eyepiece like this. As we're opposed to a lot more powerful eyepiece, you're just not gonna get it all in the field of view. But the main reason why I think that all, especially if you're a beginner in this hobby, is to get yourself a low powered eyepiece, is it's really gonna help you to just fine targets. Now I get a lot of comments often um, of people that sim simply say, I can't see anything through my telescope when I look through it at the night, in, at night time. And this usually is due to, again, they're using too much magnification to start the observation off. 
And having, be, having something like this armed in your toolkit, in your accessory toolkit of eyepieces, is a real bonus. Because you can use it in conjunction with your finder, or more, or, or more like an extension to your finder scope. Because I can guarantee you, if you've got that target in your finder, and your finder's anything like in tune with your telescope, you're going to see it with this 40 millimeter eyepiece. This, the images are really bright and sharp, and like I say, there's nothing zoomed in. Uh, with a 40 millimeter eyepiece and um, another great thing um, especially when you're just starting out this hobby um, occasionally you can just get the you can spend all the time getting the thing in the field of view and occasionally you might just knock the telescope or something happens where it comes out of the field of view and then you seem to be fishing all over the place to try and find it and then you have to go through the old process again uh, but if you're armed with one of these things a 40 mil um, the best idea, as long as you haven't knocked it at 180 degrees <laughs> in a circle, if you just knocked it a little bit, take that eyepiece you were using, your higher power one, and swap it with a low powered eyepiece, and I can guarantee you that that uh, target that you was looking for will be in the field of view. Then all you need to do now is center it back in your low powered eyepiece, and then slowly increase the power. As always, like I advise, you always start with low power and gradually increase. But if you are struggling to actually find things in the first place in your, um, in your telescope, this might just be the answer. The one thing that really does surprise me with these is the price. Uh, for an all metal constructed uh, eyepiece, um, you know, to, to, to this standard, you can pick one of these up for just shy of £30. I think they're around about £29.99. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why um, SV Boney hasn't sold out of these things. Because they're lovely eyepiece. Oh, another little attention to detail I must point out that these uh, Plossel um, lenses inside here have got blackened edges. Now, usually you only find this in a lot higher quality eyepieces. And the reason they do this is it, it, it prevents or helps prevent uh, light scattering. Because every time light passes through glass, you do lose a bit around the edges. And when they blacken the edges, it does uh, dramatically improve contrast. So the thought of everything with this eyepiece. Now, just a uh, little word of advice before you do go purchase this. This is extremely low power. And um, I would say it's more recommended for a minimum of telescopes around about a 600 um, millimeter focal length. At 600, this is gonna give you a, a magnification of around about 15 times. So you can imagine that, you know, you start dropping like, like a 300 uh, focal length, you're getting around about 7.5. But when you think about it, that's still <laughs> binocular sort of strength. And uh, if you haven't got a pair of binoculars, then you can easily turn your normally too powerful telescope into a little spotting scope <laughs> with one of these 40 millimeters. So you can see incredibly versatile little eyepieces. Well, that's it for another video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I do do regular uploads for the new astronomer. Um, there's all sorts. Don't forget to drop by on my main page of things to find, hints, tips, tricks. You'll, you'll, there's hours and hours of fun on there. <laughs> so go and have a look. In the meantime, folks, take good care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.